wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. And thanks for stopping by. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor. Tap that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up on the video. And leave a comment. And watch some of the other videos. Current subscribers, guys, I greatly appreciate you. And uh, it means a lot to me. It really does. Uh, this is a little follow-up. That's about 48 hours after we moved the chicks to the brooders. And just to show that, you know, they settled down and that I had a, a subscriber ask if they were trying to get out of the brooder. They could have been. I believe they were just trying to get away from the big, horrible, mean, giant monster thing, a.k.a. me, that had just got done handling them. So, uh, this just going to be them. You can see how, how calm down they are. I think this little one's going to be a really pretty little tuxedo. I think he's just about going to have, or she, is going to have a white head. And, and here, don't know if you can see them back there in the corner. That was the other Texas A&M that just hatched. And the little cup right there that just came out, that's the other tuxedo that just hatched. The night that we moved them in. So, they're doing good. Uh, unfortunately, as of, oh, about an hour and a half, two hours ago, I did not get any more hatch out of the brooders. Uh, in fact, why don't we just go on down and take a quick look. So, when we get down there, I'll show you guys. All right, guys, we're down here in the basement at the brooder, or the, sorry, incubators. And you can see in there, no eggs are rocking, nothing. And down in here, no eggs are rocking. I think uh, in my haste, and wanting to clean up the shells, hatched shells, we might have disturbed them too much. And <clears throat> unfortunately, they perished in their shells. Uh, they could have gotten what's called shrink wrapped. Uh, the membrane in the egg could have dried out too much and shrunk wrap around them and they couldn't move and they died. I don't know. I might do egg topsies on these to see if these developed or if some of these were infertile or just what happened. So, as always guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves, each and every one of you. Best wishes to each and every one of you guys, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. This is Dean from Dancing Critter Acres, signing off. Bye, everybody.